Yes. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back, everyone. It's over. Yes, hey. welcome back. Terrence is still dying. Very slowly. Kevin wanted us to start earlier so that we could record all of our least favorite flavors of potato chips. And I saved you, the viewer or listener, from that t- terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> but we but- sat through it. And for a while, we all looked like Terrence. <laughs> yes, they were very terrible. <laughs> but, yeah, well, shit. So, yeah. Went to the Green Dragon again because they're going to be moving locations, and I'm not happy about it, but they are, I think. And I picked up. Where are they up, going? I picked up this <laughs> after the bomb. bomb. Wait, don't you need the base Palladium books for those? Or? It says it's the complete role-playing game. Oh, okay. Um, does and he use the GURP system? No, he's just... Palladium. I thought um, I, I got those mixed up. Sorry. <laughs> I was holding it, and I was, I was, it was between this one and uh, an RPG called Monster of the Week, and the Monster of the Week one. Uh, referenced Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Supernatural. And I was like, ah, fuck yeah. But then I grabbed this book and on the front cover I... there's a lion man punching a robot in the face. There's a horse who's dressed like Snake Plissken from um, uh, Escape from L.A. Bipedal or quadrupedal horse? Bipedal, shooting a machine gun, wearing a leather jacket, has an eye patch. Okay. okay. There's a giant elephant throwing a, a kaiju-sized robot into a building. There's an American eagle wielding a katana, and I was like, "This is what I that this this is where I'm going." That's <laughs> I've heard nothing but great things about Monster of the Week. That's weird because uh, I guess at this, around the same time you went the weekend, I went and bought a copy of Monster of the Week. <laughs> <Did you laughs> ah! yeah. Yeah. It must be in the living room. I can't. I can't. It's not within reach, so it must be in the living room. It's not in your Egyptian tomb. So, you know, hopefully these RPG revolvers, when we get back into doing those, we'll see some after the bomb, maybe some Monster of the Week. I'd like to play that. Okay. The thing I'm excited about after the bomb is I was I was researching the, the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles RPG. Mm. And a lot of the forums said that one's really hard to find and do anything with, but a really close cousin to that game that you can make a Ninja Turtles RPG with is After the Bomb. Nice. Oh, yes. And call it After the Ooze. <laughs> yeah, after we, we talked about right there. Uh, we were talking about Turtles a couple weeks ago. And I, I went back and uh, I finally watched like the two, I guess the two newer ones. The, the Michael Bay uh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those. Are those the latest ones or? Yeah, yeah. Most everything else has been animated. Yeah. I kind of like, I mean, like the Michael Bay ones. They're not as as shitty as people make them out to be. But the turtles look hideous. They're yeah. fun, they're mutant turtles. Yeah. Imagine what a mutant turtle would look like in real life. Yeah. It's, it's like the, I don't want to. I want to imagine yeah. what it looks like in an '80s cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> You know what hasn't gone away? That 80s cartoon. Just watch it again. My, my brother um, has three kids. And um, he sent me a, a screenshot of what they were watching. And it was the 80s cartoon. No, I and he was like, they fucking love this show. Yeah, Every they should... chance they get, they're like, can we watch Turtles? And I'm like... That's, yeah, good. Good being a dad, right there. You're good on you. Mm-hmm. Tell them to get them to watch the X Men cartoon right after that. Hmm, yeah, yeah, those are good. Same da, 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 level da, da, da. of animation and great stories and all that. I'm not da, 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 da. up to date on newer cartoons. I a friend of mine called me today. And it was, she said, I need to FaceTime you because my kids don't know that I'm friends with a famous person. (laughs) And apparently that famous person is one of the main characters from Gravity Falls. Oh, yeah, you are look like Zeus. (laughs) Yeah. 
So all of her kids think that she's friends with the real life version of that character. I've never seen it. Me neither. Yeah, neither. Oh, give me 30 seconds. Hold on. Here's a clip. Give me, give me share and power. No. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We're, we're, we're recording. I, I wouldn't do that simply because copyright. You can't it's play a, another it's a picture of a character. Talk about it's a picture. A picture we can show. Okay. Uh, I'm showing the whole cartoon. We cannot. Oh, it, it doesn't have. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at this one. The one. <laughs> Go down. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that is you, Joker. And it's kind of got your facial expressions. I mean, it's like. <laughs> the one that was in the bottom right corner of the first video, the first one that you showed. Was very very. Yep. Yeah, question, baby. That was me last weekend. Hello, there's Kevin. Yep. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Kevin. That's our old radio days. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got your Halloween costume, question, baby. Yeah, I know. I could just I'm walk out of my house with the with that guy's shirt on. S zero zero S Seuss. I've never seen the cartoon, but I feel like he goes ooh a lot. Like that was the the facial yeah. ooh, like <laughs> he's pretty wise. <laughs> yeah, he's a very uh, he looks like funny. a very uh, Patrick Star. Kind if you of haven't kick. if you haven't watched Gravity Falls, it's really fucking good. It is very very good. Heard it's good now. Yeah, so I uh, need to go see this cartoon. Gravity this Falls. Use oh, it on like one season. Uh, or can you Plus. watch it, Noob? Owned by Disney, Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Mm. Is that the one with Uncle Grandpa? No. Okay. Or Uncle Stan. Right. Uncle Stan. That's uh I do know that much. Hey, you wanna we... play this game? Yeah. Yes. Let's get back to to this. Yeah. Getting killed let's... by invisible fairies. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. That are immune to fire. Fay murder. I did that specifically for Kevin, uh, just so he wouldn't have anything to do for this combat. <laughs> oh, the one thing you could do is fire damage. Huzzah! Not anymore. It's like three of our <laughs> characters. That's like that's. <laughs> Look, in all honesty, I've, I pulled up a lot of monsters for this dungeon crawl that we're in, <laughs> and uh, I completely didn't realize that they were immune to fire until we got into this situation. I might have. Uh, I wouldn't have changed anything. What am I saying? Uh-huh. This is this is just an opportunity for Kevin to grow as Doctor Pox and uh, explore his options a little better, a little deeper. Um, I don't know when my next discovery is. You, know, you got to diversify what you already got. Hey, Everybody leveled up last I time, just, right? Yeah. No. Oh, fourteen. Are you fourteen? Let me give four, this. Four, uh... No, no. <laughs> no, Noob got the bonus level. He's 14. And we're all 13. What? Nobody's 14. That was Nobody's all Nobody's 13. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're all 12. <laughs> what? Yeah, all of us are 12. It's just like our mental age. Oh, God, are y'all only level 12? Pretty much. We're yeah, getting we there. Yeah, we're only level 12. We're going to nerf this shit. Oh, We've shit. been 12, yes. What? I guess, do you guys want all the cool magic items in this dungeon, or would you rather just have uh, a level? No, no, no. It's I want magic. cool magic yeah, items. I want both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, those those. get to the magic <laughs> items, it turns us are, a level. Are said items shiny? <laughs> Dorian, it's your go. <laughs> <sighs> You're grappled. I know, I know, I know. Uh, but wait, I mean, wait, wait, Dorian, let let me move into a flanking position before you do anything. Oh, he's flying. Through the ring. Yeah, I don't think you, unless you can go above him. <laughs> yeah, he's flying above him. You wouldn't be able to flank. <laughs> ah, but fuck it. I'll take my three attacks. There you go. You I, have a, I have a light weapon. Make sure you move your hands mentioned. around so it's sneaky. And your weapons are cold iron and magical, correct? Yes, they are. Yeah. Wrong person to grapple. 
All right. So for the short sword, I have a 30, a 28, and a 20 to hit. Two hits. Cool. No sneak attack, so it's just my normal flat damage of... 1d6 plus 10, twice, 29 damage. Ooh. Severely stabbed and wounded, this creature seems to be barely hanging on. You'll regret keeping me in your hands. Ah, I'll do that. Uh, 27, then we go to the second bad guy who got, we'll go ahead and tell you, a 24 on his initiative. And is behind the web there. Ah, take that, loser. Uh, hmm. Come here, spells tab. No, don't do that. Come on now. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> You see a mon slapping his ass saying, ah, ha, ha. Um, hmm. Just want to take another one of my stats away? Just want to drain me? Uh, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. So that's going to be, um, Dr. Pox, Sonder, Dorian, all need to give me a. Oh, no saving throw. <clears throat> if they are twenty feet away, they have full cover. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, it's it's a cone effect. And it's thirty feet of cone. Oh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 is straight up. Actually, I don't think it'll get. That's going to be close with Dorian. Yeah, 30. So 30. It'd be y'all three. The cone would be Dr. Pox, Sonder, and Dorian. You are all fatigued as a wave of fatigue washes over you. Why are you such a garbage person? I didn't make these these monsters. Uh, He said no save. No saving throw. Do you have any spell resistance? Um, I don't do we, think so. No. I thought two of us. Oh no, it's Vladros and yeah, um, Amon, Dim, and Vladros are outside of the comb. Yeah, Wait, and they're the have, two with SR. I have spell resistance. No, you don't. No, I have energy resistance. Yeah, I specifically oh, that, didn't give you the scarab because of that. I don't know who else has a scarab. I gave it to someone. Oh, wait, no, I got the scarab. I have SR-19. Okay. Funny. Thank you, noob. I forgot about that. Uh, you were not fatigued. I rolled a natural one. Woo-hoo. Uh However, he does still have a few of these quickens left and will go invisible. Yeah, you keep your ass over there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that brings us to 18, which is Vladros. Dr. Pox. Dr. Pox is 22. Yep. All right. Well, I have... I will draw a cold iron javelin that I have and swift action apply my poison. Okay. And then... You've um, moved and stand, or you've moved and swifted now. Well, yes. In my move up to here to be able to stab at the thing that's on Dorian. Oh, yeah. You can draw it as part of a move action. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Oh, let me clear that. Sorry. I just dropped it. All right. Um, does what? 
a 25 hit his AC flank. You, yes. You have weapon finesse? Why do I need weapon finesse? How are you rolling that with no, whatever, whatever your strength Roll is? Roll the 17. Okay. Um. So it needs to make me a fortitude save. Okay. And then... 20. Uh, DC is 24. Uh, he will take... Oh, three strength damage. Okay. And four points of physical damage. It is cold iron. But it's it magical. magical. So he doesn't take any damage from the spear, but he'll take some some uh the some poison has taken its bite. Uh, just remember that for later. Remind me, keep me honest. I don't think this yep. guy's gonna survive long enough for that to, to matter, but we'll see. If you keep rolling damage like Dr. Pops, he'll be alive forever. Ladros. <laughs> Will you move me now, diagonal? Only until he dies of strength loss. Five foot step diagonal. And let's do this. Forgot I was hasted on that last turn, so I kind of gimped myself out of an attack. Uh, first attack. Twenty six. Describe your kill. Okay. <laughs> Dorian. Dorian brought him to one hit point. Nice. So I'll uh, slide Ooh. around Dorian and cut his arms off hey. at the at, at the elbows. Dorian, you lost your arms. No. <laughs> <laughs> S- separating the creature who is grappling Dorian. The creature flies away with Dorian's forearms. Dorian. <laughs> <laughs> it drinks the blood. Ah, no, Why would yeah. I have a seal? What's the point of describing my kill if you just riff on it? <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> That's the way you describe it. You said I step around Dorian and slice his arms off. It's. It's. It's yeah, yeah, arms yeah. off. Yeah. The last name you said was Dorian, so that's what the visual that you built was you slicing his arms off, at least for me. Real quick, where's that other invisible? I know I can't point him out exactly to the others, but... He's right where he was before. Okay. And this one's dead. Sorry, do you want to describe your kill again? No, that's cool. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Uh, not that sorry. It made me laugh. Uh, Amon. Hey, how you doing? Anybody hurt? Anybody hurt real bad? I need healing. I don't think anybody's taking a lot of actual physical damage. Did I actually uh, or... take any con damage from that? They didn't get back around. You took the two con from last turn. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to hold my action. Actually, I would like to move. Yeah, I'm just going to move to here and then hold my action for when the uh, I can see the thing. You can't move and hold. You can move and you want to talk about ready? You want to ready yeah. attack if it gets close? Yeah. Okay. You bitch, you uh, bitch. Nim. All right. So did it break uh, Did it break my web or did I clear no, that sorry. out? sorry. I cleared that. I put it back up after we left. Okay. Uh, I'll just make sure it's still there. Um, I'll, um, you know, they vanquished that one. I'll go around the corner and I'll take that little page out of uh, Dorian's cookbook there and cast a uh, glitter dust bomb, you know, centered there, sort of do a 10 foot radius. So reflex say or is it reflex or is it? Will uh, for the blindness. blindness. Uh, yeah, we'll say for the blinding. No SR. 
I'm sorry, what now? A will save to avoid being blinded, but otherwise there's no SR or anything, so he's glitter dusted if he's in that 10 foot radius. Oh, the glitter dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, let me roll Damn. up here for y'all to see. Second foot. I still think he's fun. It was a will save. Yeah, 22 is what you're looking for. 24 is what he got. All right. Well, it's not not but blinded, but still we can. Now. Y'all can see him now. See that. Good and job. then I'll uh, shift back where I was. Yeah, I never moved you. I figured you would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably saves time. It saves me uh, wrist movements. I gotcha. Okay. That okay, bad guy is dead. That's Nim's gone. Sonder. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, let's do this one. It doesn't matter though. Either way, I only have so many. So, uh. Divine Fireball. That won't destroy the web, will it? Yeah. I can put it... Sure. Can I not put it behind? It's fine. I can't I mean, see I, I, it. We want to I mean, destroy the web. There's one of him and there's, you know, a yeah. room full of us. Now, now also, the web is keeping us from it. Also, I think Fireball, you like basically point your finger and a little ball of bat shit hits an area. Yeah, I mean, it... it uh. It's a it pinpoints and then explodes from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm okay with that thing going down. Yeah, we. Need yeah, it'll to save me. A, it'll save me a standard action next time. I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna spell it. So word. So okay. yeah, uh, divine fireball reflex save beta. Oh, nice nineteen. You gonna take it all? Yeah. And then I'll- and then whenever that webbing shit drops, I'm gonna be using my ready to action as or ready a ready attack as searing light. I can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. I thought I was doing that. <laughs> I thought you I was ready to attack. Readying the spell, you're readying an attack. You to yeah, ready name attack. a specific action. I'm to gonna whip attack. anything that comes within range. Or I'm going to ready a spell specifically mm-hmm. you have for to when specify. this happens. Oh, that's stupid. Whatever. I mean, no, that's, what, it's very, that's, what he, I, that's what he wanted his I, character to do. He just yeah, didn't articulate it correctly. <laughs> I was going to use Searing Light once that web's dropped. 39. Oh. 39. And the spell's a ranged uh, attack, so just say. Just for future reference, you know, be clear that you're ready to attack. Thought I was. I mean, I will say it does seem. I mean, that's what he wanted to do with his character. He just didn't articulate it correctly. Yeah. So who's stupid, us or noob? Because he didn't articulate it correctly. Well, well yeah, it's either us or noob. But Amon would have done what he wanted to do because he's there. So. Well, would he have been ready to cast a spell or ready to whip something when he got close enough to attack? Which is what I asked him. You want to attack something when it gets in the range? He said, yeah. I can't hit nothing from there. Your whip has 15, 20 foot reach. Yeah, I still can't reach anything from there. (laughs) You can reach all the way to the web from where you're standing. The web, not the creature. It would make sense that you are standing there. Higher or low? Yeah, okay. Like you just have to put your brain in noob's brain. Love, you are preparing to spell. Fuck it. There we go. <laughs> there you go. And do it, noob. We've well, been playing this game for a decade. Well, I'll learn the rules. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it should always come down to a dice roll, what in my opinion. So. What did you do? Twenty damage. Did you hit him? Yeah. Did you roll to hit him? Yeah. <laughs> what did you get? Uh, your mom. <laughs> I hired him last time I cast the spell. It's also the same thing. I also moved back to there. 
That'd be a 21. exhausting sometimes, noob. 21 will hit, yeah. Fine. Yeah, so 20 damage, suck it. Same team, same team. Same team. Sometimes team. two damage, because he told me to suck it. <laughs> right, so that's two more damage than Kevin did, all right? <laughs> it, it is. Uh, See, and, and now you're not exhausting anymore. Now you're funny. <laughs> it's not exhausting, but it's funny. It's still exhausting. <laughs> yeah. Top of the round, Dorian. Oh, uh, what's going on? Sorry. We the web is down. The glitter dust, other fairy, is south of us. All right, and uh, ground level. I'm going to draw my crossbow and give it a couple of shots. Okay. Move me into, I guess, the direct line of fire. (laughs) Roll a two and a one. Oh. How bad's the fumble? It's a 45. That's not bad. Uh, That's not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, it, it opens up an attack of opportunity from Vladros to Amon. Vladros <laughs> sees you as uh, tasty tender biddles and takes a bite. No, um, 45 mm-hmm. is fine. Right. Nothing, nothing nothing, crazy happens. Okay. Damn, I miss. <laughs> Next turn. His go. No, it should be my yeah, go. Nope, I, nope, it's his go. He has a 24, you have a 22. Oh, okay. You're right. I know I have forgotten you every other turn, Kevin, but not this one. Not, not yet. yet. <laughs> You're supposed to go next. Not we'll yet. forget you. Wait, the monster hasn't gone yet. Hmm. Let's see. He's glitter dusted. His partner is dead. His what light partner. What do I Cry. We just Get broke away. up a family. It's gonna run, isn't uh, it? I think it's gonna run. Come on, Matt. Don't be a Matt. Face off your enemies. Yeah, but see, that's that's what y'all want, and I think it's time for me to do what I want to do. What's its intelligence score? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yep. So like a seven. The thing we cast just a... killed its mated life, um, husband and or wife. I just I have to look up one thing real quick. Okay, make it snappy. Uh, I'll take my time like you do. <laughs> I'll take what's needed. <laughs> well, this is needed. <laughs> what's your favorite uh, hot pocket flavor? Pepperoni and cheese. Yeah, I mean, you got pepperoni and cheese. I'm the other same. Ham and cheese. I have, I, I have far fewer... Um, Taste buds of my tongue, thanks to those pepperoni and cheese hot pockets. Because I never waited long enough. Or Philly cheesesteak hot pocket. Philly cheesesteak hot pocket. Did the, did the ham like and those. cheese have big chunks of ham in them, or were they diced little pieces of ham? I can't well, remember. There's two kinds. You have the chunky ham, and you got like sliced ham. Yeah, there was one that was like slices, wasn't it? That's what I yes. thought. It was like a, hot the, pocket that's, croissant. That's the good one. The slice Ex- one. Except your your teeth never made it all the way through the ham, and you would just pull out a searing glob of ham that would slap you on the chin. Or maybe that's uh, just me. I never that's... had that happen. But... <laughs> it, rem- it reminds me of my uncle. I but think that's... that's pretty much just you. No, I got dull teeth. I mean, what can I say? Okay. Ever been slapped by a ham, son? <laughs> I've been slapped by a ham wallet. A hot ham. Right in the face. On a summer day, I was slapped by a ham wallet. In Alabama. (laughs) God, it makes me want some some pepperoni hot pockets now, though. I want ham and cheese hot pocket. I won't be slapping the chin with a piece of ham. 
Yeah, maybe I'm misremembering. The creature in front of you turns we're to a talking. cloud. Oh, God, you have to say we're back or something. We were like uh, on a tangent. Yeah. No, I was rolling dice and shit. He turns to a cloud and... Did he make his reflex we... save? He's a cloud. To. He's a cloud. I had, to saw roll a, you. I, had to, I had to roll a fly check to be able to turn more than 45 degrees in a movement. That's what was taking me. Dude, I read a spell like you see trying to fly and change shape and escape by gaseous cloud. Ga ga gaseous? Gaseous? Okay, gaseous let's roll cloud. percentile to see what happened. Okay. You ready? Uh, 15%. Yeah, 35. Uh, nowhere near yeah, the, we'll the middle 15. That I needed to be. Dang it. I tried. <laughs> Does changing form, well, either way, he wouldn't be invisible to me. He's not invisible to anybody. He's a cloud, and he left the no. room. Cloud? He's a shit yeah. cloud. And, and he, said, he was I'm too out. far away for us to attempt attacks of opportunity. He basically vape lifed out of the room. Yeah. Sick cloud, what? bro. Because well, of the start I of his spell... Have... At the start of the spell, it says you alter the substance of your body to a cloud-like vapor uh. as the gaseous form spell. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you, he cast Windwalker or Windwalk on himself. Oh, what that's a good one. I almost took that, that one. I like that. That's like you get a move speed of 60, don't you? No. No, you it's insane. Speed, you get a move speed of 10 feet with perfect maneuverability or 600 feet with poor maneuverability. These creatures have a very good fly check, so I got a 42 to beat the DC of 15. That's not high uh, enough. Yeah, to, to, to be able to take uh, 45 degree turns. Yep. So this well, creature wow. has vanished back into, he, he saw the cloud go back the way you guys came from, uh, but we're gonna break initiative because I don't think there's, I mean, I might be wrong. We'll, we'll stick it in the initiative for one more round. Um, the creature has fled. Uh, Dr. Pox. I didn't forget you. <laughs> Hold on. I just want to. You've had 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind. I can't get through the saw blade and move fast enough to. Uh... Hmm see if I can still see it, but... Oh, yeah! yeah we're gonna have mm, to I guess the cone. I forgot that I had a mirror image on. But the it was cone, a cone still, yeah. Anyway. yeah. Yeah, I think area effect, it kind of goes, goes through that. Yeah. I wish I could say that's why I did that cone spell, but I completely forgot that you mm -hmm. did mirror image. Uh, Vladros. Uh, 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 nothing. There's nothing. Okay. I, I break combat. I'm on. Uh, I'm going to start casting Restoration on myself. And then. Um, I'll tell Feisty just to kind of keep an eye out behind me, and I'll turn to the west and just try to maybe take about 10 foot down that hallway and see if I see any anything unusual. 10 feet down that hallway. I've got dark vision. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, you go 10 feet down that hallway, and uh, you don't see... Give me a perception. All right. Eh. Eh. That's a 22. Cause, mm -hmm. yeah. You yeah. don't see it's or hear easy. anything out of the ordinary. Mm hmm. Yeah. Kept watch. Everything's good here. That's it. Oh, yeah, that awesome. guy just if, noped the fuck out, so it's good. If Noob is going to start casting Restoration on himself, I'm going to sit down and take 10 minutes to brew my final uh, second level potion of the day. And then... Uh... And give Dorian a lesser restoration potion and he can roll his own d4 okay uh, 
What is that? It's yeah. Before all you need is it's a 50 50 shot to completely heal door. It's just this uh, D4 is very stylized, and I'm having trouble telling what this number It's the four, okay. Okay, well, there you go. Let's your get your con is back. more important than noob strength with him. Yeah, a restoration. Yeah, noob, you hear that? Yeah, noob, fuck yourself. <clears throat> I don't want to be at disadvantages. You're, you're unimportant. But if I knew he was doing that, I probably would have just cast a luster restoration. It'll be okay. I'll keep that for one of y'all. I'm doing lesser restoration on myself for the uh I get me too. What did you get hit with, Sonder? Just fatigue. Oh but I don't were... want to be fatigued. Oh no no, you don't have to do that. I don't have to do that? No, Vice you can that Vice, oh, okay, just, cool. See her little uh, her little one minute ditty is Oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah, play your song. That. Cool, 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 cool. Yep. Still a little river so dance. a little extreme to get rid of fatigue. Not really. The middle no. of a dungeon. No, yeah, that doesn't. Mm-mm. I'll take this. Especially with the um, monsters that can do worse. No. Yeah, like con damage. Yeah, but um. I don't want to be fatigued and have con damage and whatever else I could get in a fight. Like, why not be full? Yeah. When I have spells. Well, if I say, anytime we have, if we have a minute, she can she can play her little traveler song and <laughs> it gets rid of uh, fatigue and exhaustion. <clears throat> so Lovely. it's a song that gets rid of fatigue. Is it the Six Flags Man song? <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is exactly that song. Um, which Vladros Vladros would know because he's been hearing it for quite some time now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what's the uh, what's what's the party want to do? Go back the way you came, chase this monster down. You've got a passage to the south. You've got a passage to the west. I say we keep going where we're going. That narrows it down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, I mean it, we're down here. I, um, it adds south or west. I can see not going back the way you came from. Yeah. yeah. I would suggest I'm, south. I would suggest west, just because we know at least one creature came from the south and it's gone. We don't know what's in the west. That's my theory. Fair enough. I say yeah. south because they might have kept the, their household goods there, and Ooh, I can I get my know. blanket there's, back. There's no blanket. doors either way, correct? No correct. doors either way. If, if they south. made their home to the south, maybe they've got a weighted blanket that I can. Get. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Who's off for, who who's off for going south? Raise hey, your hand. Hey, I am. Dorian's, Dorian's leading us. Which way are you taking us, Dorian? South, please. I think the majority wants to go south, so let's go that way. What? We're going south. South. Oh, yeah. I guess so. Lend us your looking eyes. Yeah, do, considering do, there do, were just saw blade traps. Do. Yeah, those things move around. <laughs> this is so dumb, what you just said. It made me giggle. Those things move <laughs> around. <laughs> They spin me right round, maybe right round. When you go like down, record player, round and round. I look for traps and shit. And right. shit. That's good. You don't want to step in that. Give me a perception. Ah, oh, shit. Everybody. No, do worry. No, just the one who's searching for traps. We're all searching for traps. We're just not good at it. Uh, you make your way down, Dorian. You do not detect any traps. The room opens up a little further. Ah, make your way on down. Right there. Until you get to kind of a dead end. Now this Can we podium. Get some light down there. Just... Shut up. <laughs> There's your light, you fucks. 
Um, you lump us all in with Kevin. This, uh, this podium to uh, the <laughs> west has a statue on it, and on that statue is a um, the jackal-headed kind of traditional look for um, your Egyptian gods. But when you look closer, it's not jackal-headed. It's a jackal crown. And it's a stone warrior uh, standing about 14 feet tall, holding uh, his hands across his chest, um, crisscross like this. And... <laughs> when you put closer inspection, you see that the uh, the hands are empty. This the uh, everything on it stone, and it this one appears to be blindfolded. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'll make a detailed search nearby. Perception. Thirty-one. You don't see anything out of the ordinary as you're looking around the bottom of the statue. The walls all seem kind of uniform, old sandstone walls. Uh, and you're about to kind of give up on your search when you look back one more time at the statue and, and you see that the, the blindfold of the statue looks like it might actually not be part of the statue, that it might just be similar in shape because of dust but it, it might not be like an actual loose piece of cloth okay I'll go back to the party uh group there's a big statue down there and since no statue we've ever encountered in our entire lives has not attacked us get your weapons out as we can investigate <laughs> I mean what are the chances <sighs> I'll head down there I'll go with him yeah. yeah, I'll head down as well. We'll all join. I'll be towards the rear. I'll be like number three, number four. Like where I am now. Yeah, perfect. That works fine. Look at With that. that. Fits, right. fits like indicate, a glove. I indicate the, the statue. Oh, and there's a, little, there's a little room there that I forgot about. Oh. Above you. Okay. Well, you indicate the statue? I indicate the statue and point out the cloth. What's it? And tell him, well, do you want me to climb up there and pull it off or what? I'll whip it. Whip it good. Is there any yeah. knowledge checks we can do on it? Or do the weapon? No, I think, I think Noob's doing the best check. Physically attack it. If it responds. I'm with yeah, the bandana. There is the third option of it could attack, but won't if we don't hit it with shit. Right. right Maybe that's... it's a friendly statue. I'm not hitting it. I can grab unattended objects with my whip. Let it me ask you something, object. though, noob. You got a blindfold on, and some dude who you don't know snatches that off with a dangerous whip. I climb up the statue and remove Plus... <laughs> There you go. It, it would be attended anyway, so... Or you climb up the statue and remove the blindfold. It's not uh, looking into the eyes. Nothing happens. The blindfold uh, slides off uh, with just a little bit of, of give or, or having to untie it from the back. Uh, it's old and it seems like an ordinary brown piece of cloth. All right. Well, I'll toss it down and then I guess look at the statue's face, see what they're trying to hide. Um, give me perception. Did anyone detect magic on it? I on was detecting blindfold? magic on um, just in the general direction of the statue. 29. You don't notice anything uh, with that check, Terrence. Uh, Sonder, when he pulls the blindfold off, your 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 senses of detect magic go off. You There's a bit of magic in the cloth, and you can follow the magical trail as the cloth drops towards the ground. There's magic in them, their cloths. Well, great. Magic I'll, in that old hat. I'll climb down. And this, a first in our three-year gaming history, a statue that is not there to attack you, just one that has a magical treasure. What? Hey. Hey. Spellcraft on it? Yeah, give suspicious. me your spellcraft. Maintain that suspicion. 
It's going to be pretty good, I think. Because that's a 16. I assist uh, if I can. Assist. That's a, that's a 40. Yeah. Um, these are, are very rare, old, powerful magics. Um, some kingdoms, you know, from, from histories you've studied them, um, they had swordsmen that in the, in the time that they trained that didn't need um they didn't have battles to fight so they were always trying to just do showcases uh and this was made in a way for those swordsmen to showcase their skills in a spectacular manner but they've been enhanced over the way so they used to blindfold the guys and they would go out in there and do their katas or whatever um to show that they could do them blindfolded but then they got magically enhanced and this is one of those very rare swordsmen's blindfolds hmm Really? It's a black band of silk grants the wearer spectacular senses within a limited range. Some believe these items were made to grant lesser swordsmen the illusion of skill. Uh, when the wearer places the blindfold over her eyes, she becomes blinded, but gains blind sight within the reach of her melee weapon, or five mm -hmm. feet if the wearer is not wielding a melee weapon. Furthermore, the wearer is under the effects of a constant locate weakness spell but only when making melee attacks wow that sounds like a perfect <laughs> item for new i'm sorry but 40 feet blind sense 20 feet every 20 no, the range of your melee weapon which is 20 feet, 20 feet. oh yeah you're right you're right <laughs> i mean that would be a 20 foot radius so i mean oh probably, let me look yeah. up Look at that. Four and feet across. Blind sense, so we no one would need light anymore. So the swordsman's blindfold. But he yeah. wouldn't be able to cast his spells beyond twenty feet. Right. Uh and the locate just, weakness the locate weakness that, the gives you, that this helps you decide. Uh you can sense your foe's weak points, granting you a greater damage with critical hits. Whenever you score a critical hit, roll the attacker's damage dice. But not extra or precision dice twice and take the higher result. That sounds like it's for Vladris then. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like that, Vladris all day. It would be good that. for his crits, but the blind thing for you at twenty feet, blind sense is also really good. What's it called it, again? It's called Blindfold Swordmasters. Swordmasters Blindfold. Oh, holy shit. Or not the just Swordmasters Blindfold if you're looking for it in Hero Lab. Yeah. You can sense your foe's weak points granted you greater damage with critical hits. So when you score a critical hit, roll the attacker's damage dice. Basically giving you advantage on your damage dice with critical hits. That's pretty good, especially with his crit range. Yeah. I figured it would be something that between Amon and, and, and Vladros, like having the 20 feet uh, blind sight Pretty well, good. For, for me, it would only be five. Right. But you'd get advantage on every critical threat that you well, roll. He'd also be blind outside 20. of five feet, which means moving at half rank, half speed. Right. Yeah, but when he moved, he could just use, as part of the move action, he could lift the blindfold as he moved. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. What is the, uh, what are you going to do to put that on and off? So it's normally it's a standard action to uh, activate magic items. Hmm. Uh. Um, do you have step up? I do not. Mm, so I was going to say, if you had step up, that would be very nice. Because oh. if they tried to five foot seven away from you, you'd just follow them. And they'd be right there with you all the time. It's a cool, it's a cool magic item. Um, I mean, not being able to see past five feet normally. Kind of a... But dangerous. not being able to see past 20 feet isn't, isn't that terrible that bad. Yeah. I mean being blind sucks you know anything that shoots you from range is hitting your flat footed yeah I mean I'll take it why not if that's cool with you Vlad yeah, Ross, your Vlad flat Ross. footed would is still what 42 I'm fine with it yeah. I still think uh, I still think you could just I mean you could lift that blindfold as a move action because it's not there's no 
incantation yeah, or anything no, it's to activate. To activate it's, or, you're not yeah. having to activate anything though. Once you put, I make, that, I'm making a call. On. You're not going to bypass the one big negative of this with a move action. Okay. It's a standard. Yeah. It's a standard action to equip it and for the magic to work. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to step into this room and, and see if we can disable the spinning blades for retreat purposes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So- I'll I'll go back and work on that real quick. Um, I think they're just one. talking about going into this room here that y'all haven't been inside of yet. Before, no, before we go any further, I'm going to step back and no, try I'm and talking deactivate. about the room that's there where the, the blades are if we check yeah. in there and see if that's where there's a mechanism we can turn off see if there's an engineer in there <laughs> for the underground railroad yeah, but so who's yeah. going who's going into the room then okay I mean, what sure. do you need to do to uh dis- to to try to disarm the thing I want to try and figure that out right now. Mm. So we have our escape route clear if we need to make a haste. So, haste so Dr. Fox is going in there. Dorian yeah. saw them pull a lever at the beginning. Right. The lever that it pulled this up on was 30 feet high up on the ceiling. That obviously turned it on. Oh, where's that lever at? I'll show you. It's on the ceiling over here. Anybody want to climb up to it, or is that me too? Um. Well, let me l- take a look. Uh, disable device just to see how it would be disabled. It's a lever. Yeah, but that might not <laughs> necessarily turn it off. Oh my god! I'm gonna try the. <laughs> All right, Dory, you climb up there. You you flip the, the 31. Lever. 31 to what? To make sure that's the correct way to disable it. If all that is is the lever. It turns it off, or it doesn't turn it off. With the lever, moves them back into their respective rooms. Yeah. Mm. And They're I bre- so close. <clears throat> then I break the lever. Okay. Would anybody like a set of Death Watch eyes? W H Y. You can basically see if something's undead. You get the Death Watch spell of constant and constant effect. What else does it well, do? I, I don't have anything over my eye slot, so I'll go ahead and take those because, Sonder, you'd have to give up your blindfold that gives you dark vision. Mm. You instantly know whether a creature with an air is dead, fragile, alive, wounded. Basically, you kind of know if something's hurt or if it's undead. Yeah, I'll take that. To the west. To the west. Let's go. Oh, because you got the blindfold. That's why. Yeah. That's an eye slot. You're an eye slot. Your mom's an eye slot. Yeah. Ooh, I like that your mom. Was the... uh, That's kind of cool. That's a cool synergy with that weapon, with my weapon and that item. Well, there you go. Yeah, because if you only have a weapon that reaches five foot, that kind of fucking sucks. Mm hmm. Make your way up. Watch eyes. Thank you, noob. Make your way up around the corner here, and it looks like your only options are to go north. Follow behind him. Just gonna move Dorian until something else happens. Perceptions. Uh, uh, um, thirty-one. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, next room opens up. 
Looks like it's cutting back towards the way you came. Okay. I'm going to investigate the north thing just in case that's a doorway or an alcove or something. Okay. Give me perception. Uh, 39. Natural 20. So the way this kind of juts in uh, kind of opens your... Uh, gives you a little hang of like, huh. Uh, this looks like this could have been an archway or a doorway at some point, and you start moving your hand around and, and clearing off some of the stone, and you see that some of the stone is a different shade of color than the, the other stone. Like, part of this wall is newer than the other. Still, all the wall is very old, but part of this is newer than the other wall. Secret uh, door? Is, yeah, is there a, like a way to move the bricks or loosen them in some way? This seems like something if you wanted to, to to get your way in would probably be like a hey Kool-Aid moment. Oh, I see. Or explosions. All right. Uh, Vlad Ross! That goes down the... <laughs> oh, Toker, you can take the light off me now, too. Don't need that anymore. But we kind of need it for seeing the map. Yeah. Yeah, I know, uh, but I'm just saying. Context. We're here looking for hidden things, and there's something hidden behind this wall, I feel. Ah, okay. Ooh, this, the we all still. need to make a look now. Or, what? and I just shoulder check it. Uh, I'll assist. Yeah, this is a, a strength in your way through, unless you got a way to blow it up. Can I also assist? Two people can get into that corner to, to hit the wall. What's your strength, Dorian? And I... Well, but I rolled to assist. Oh, okay. <laughs> 25, 26, 27. The wall crumbles down. Make your way through. Uh, Whipping out. Flower. And I will say, oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait till it down. Uh, yeah, the, the air in here is more stagnant than the air you've already had. This seems like this has been completely closed off. The The floors, fine, there's a fine amount of dust on them uh, where you just broke this part of the wall down. But other than that, it doesn't seem like there's been any insect, animal, life, any fresh air in this area for a long, long time. All right, magic types, do your thing. Is there uh, is the there any evil? undead? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Detect all the things. Okay. Sandra, you step in. Uh, you don't detect any magic to the east, but to the west, you do detect a powerful magical aura. Um, uh, I detect a powerful magical aura. You say. Is there uh, any use for sense motive in this moment? <laughs> no. No, okay. Still, just still just check it. it. It's not still an intelligent, it. it's not an intelligent magic aura. Just check it. I got you. But I can spellcraft? You can. Mm-hmm. That's something we don't have enough of. Intelligent magical items. Uh, 29. Um... You can tell that it is a conjuration and evocation uh, combination of magic. But until you get closer and actually examine the item um, or whatever this magical aura is, you're not sure because it's further into that room. Mm -hmm. It's a bomb. Can I take a look? Probably use a uh, trap of some sort. You'd have to go closer than she's currently gone to get any more information than she's gotten. Okay, can I tell I, like how far, how close to us is the the magical aura extend? Yeah, because I can uh, pinpoint it. I'm pretty sure with detect magic. Behold it. It looks like it's kind of in the room, and then maybe a bit north. Hmm. Okay. And I see round corners. Can we maybe, can maybe Dorian check for traps down to the corner then? Or if you'll back up, I'll just go down there. Fine. Whichever. I'll go with him. Okay. I'll watch the door. 
we get to the uh, the end here. Uh, give me perception. Mm. Thirty one again. And again, a f- if it was standing, would probably be fifteen feet. But it's a statue similar in appearance to the other one. But this one is sitting uh, crisscross applesauce on the ground. Um, <laughs> Its hands are held out very close. Uh, the three fingers and thumb pointed outward. The pinky and second finger pointed in like this. And draped between the two is uh, a necklace with some uh, beads hanging on it. Um, this item Sweet appears ass. to be a normal string of prayer beads. Mm-hmm. But uh, you already know that they are putting off some magical properties. Mm-hmm. Um it's, uh, it's another statue. There's some magical prayer reads, I think. It's a necklace of fireballs made for Sonder. I don't know if I pray prayer bead with fu- necklace of fireball beads, but... <laughs> I mean, you know... <laughs> I thought those things take a, take a good deal of wear and tear. If you want oh, me to, I will reach out and get it so that you don't risk yourself. Oh, I'm not worried. I'm just letting them know what they're afraid of. As they get close to it, I could do a spellcraft on it. To see yeah. exactly what it is. So you go up there, you do a spellcraft on it. Give it, give me. I rolled low me between me and Sandra. Sandra, you want to assist? I will assist so, and I assist. I also. It's, that gives me a 33. Okay. It's up like... uh. They look like normal prayer beads, but the magic that's coming off of them, you realize that they are a little bit more unique than that. Um, the description from Paizo. This item uh, appears to be normal string of prayer beads until the owner... Uh, you, you realize that the owner would need to cast divine spells while having them. They don't have to hold them. They just have to be in possession of them. They could be in a backpack, a pocket. They don't have to be worn. Tied to a sword. Be tied to a sword. Um, of cock ring. But once uh, someone casts divine magic with it, you, you realize whoever that person is, the, the, the full extent of their power would open up to that person. Uh, yeah, I'll explain uh, all this and hand these to, I guess, to, to I Sonder. Take it, I take it. Because there's, what, two? There's two or three divine, right? Was it just yeah. Sonder and Amun? No, but just Sonder and Amun. My spells are more a utility and healing than a damage. Okay. Well, the, the prayer beads will not activate until you cast some kind of divine magic. Okay, then. Cast light real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have that spell. spell. <laughs> Ooh, I do. I'll test it. <laughs> oh, no. Create, create <laughs> water. Don't tell, don't tell me God, how to live. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to wanna like, know. I must know. I must. Experiment is, is the way anything, to knowledge. Is there anything that's like a? Oh no, we didn't save the little shards of your of your blankie, did we? I could have cast mending on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we have some Let's tattered clothing did. amongst us. You can I did. cast mending I... on my armor that took a beating. Okay, I'll do that. To reach for the power to cast a spell, uh, a soft, familiar voice opens up in your mind. You can tell it's not your goddess, but the voice is doing its best to imitate your goddess, but not in a, a malicious way, but, but, but just trying to be a more comforting presence in your mm. mind um, and it plays for you like a uh, like a tape not like a, a creature speaking it seems clipped and saved like a, like a very old recording the language is not one you immediately understand but eventually the, the language works its way out into your mind and basically what you end up with uh the mending spell goes off and you realize you can reach for more power when you cast that spell. Um, Once this occurs, the owner instantly knows the powers of the prayer beads and how to activate them. Each strand includes two or more special beads, each with different magical power. 
<laughs> this one has um all three. It has the bead of healing. Where it can cast his choice of cure serious wounds, remove blindness, deafness, or remove disease. It has the bead of karma. Where it casts his spells at a plus four caster level, effects last ten minutes. And it has the bead of uh smiting. Where it can cast Chaos Hammer, Holy Smite, Orders Wrath, or Unholy Blight, with the will save being DC 17 for partials. A strained pair of of prayer beads has uh, the bead of healing, karma, and smite or smiting. Each special bead can be used once per day. The beads of blessing, smiting, and oh wait a minute, what's that? Wind walking. Never mind. So the the beads, blessing, smiting, uh, spell trigger. Blah 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 blah. The power of the special bead is lost if it's ever removed from the strand. Reduce the price of the strand if prayer breeze is missing one or more beads by the following amounts. So you can pull that up in Hero Lab. It's just called Strand of Pair Prayer Beads. Okay. There's a little bit there in the middle, which I think is a typo, because it's like the beads of blessing, smiting, and wind walking, which that hasn't been mentioned at all yet. I don't think you get wind walking. It's just the regular strand of pair beads, right? Yeah. Not many prayer beads. Regular prayer beads. Okay. Strain of prayer beads. Gotcha. So once per day, you can cast Cure Serious Wounds, remove blindness, deafness, or remove disease. Once per day, you can add a plus four caster level to your spells for 10 minutes. And then once per day, you can cast either Chaos Hammer, Holy Smite, Order's Wrath, or Unholy Blight. Hmm. That is a very sounder item. Um, do I have, like, do I have any limitations on the beat of smiting? Which ones I can cast? Each one of them once per day. No, 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 no. The beat of smiting, I have, I can cast Chaos Hammer, Holy Smite, Order's Wrath, or Unholy Blight. I feel like, like, do I have any, like, do those spells have, like, oh, you have to be one of those things? Like, I know I shouldn't have a problem with the Chaos Hammer, because I'm chaotic, and the, the Holy Smite. Like, that's a spell that I already have. I'm good mm -hmm. aligned. But, like, do you have to be lawful to, ca to cast Order's Wrath? Do you have to be evil to cast Unholy Blight? Not with not with these prayer beads. Interesting. But that is all you find in that room. Neat. Yeah, the wind that, that ends. Weird. That ends right there, kind of? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'll continue. All right. Back and west. All right. As you guys all make your way back together into your your group formation here, see that the trail opens up a little bit further back towards the east. Dorian, give me a perception check. Everybody can actually give me a perception check. That's good because I got a twenty-one. At Twenty. Um. At thirty-two. Uh, hey, Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Uh, that is a thirty-two. Well, everybody who got a twenty or higher, uh, you start to smell a stench, a stench that unfortunately you're somewhat accustomed to is the a smell of, of rot of decay uh those of you who got i don't know why that's funny but uh because of Vladros, we we oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah smelling him <laughs> i know what this anything. smell is i you smell musty smells familiar i smell musty i don't smell like death i assume you guys are just casting uh that what do you call it? Gentle repose on him all the time. Sometimes. The, the, when he the gets stench. too stinky, we cast gentle repose. <laughs> the stench of death wafts from the corridor ahead. 
Those of you who got 25 or higher can hear the small scraping sounds of bone on stone. And when we come back next time, we'll find out what's around that corner. Bone, bone on stone is a oh, great man. battle name. Is it a real battle name? <laughs> no, but it sounds like a really good one. Bone on stone. Hold bone on. Bone on stone. That's yeah. dwarf porn if I've ever heard of it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds exact. Yeah, that, that's a that's got to be a band name. Bone on stone. Noob's room is so dark that it just the camera auto decides to stop recording. Just cuts him out. No, it's not yeah. a band. So if you want stone on bone, it is available. Bone or on stone. Bone on yeah, stone. Except it's bone on stone. Yeah. Yeah, there's stone bone. That one's taken. But stone on bone or bone on stone. Both open. Those are open. Oh. Hmm. Facebook page available. Trademark a song that came out by Quillo in 2021 <laughs> called Our Bones Turned to Stone. How but it's not boring? what we're talking about. It's not what, it's just about erections. Oh, we need to get in contact with that dwarf metal band. We got an album name. Yeah, Here's we'll let them sexy know. Sexy album. They'll be very excited that They're we've got in touch with them. They're called Windrose. Yeah, Windrose, see? Bone on stone. Are they actually yeah. dwarves? They look like they're, it. Or... They're, they're dressed as dwarves and they have a dwarf theme to their metal. Oh, I thought you meant like little people. <laughs> we, we would call them little people. Yeah. No, I mean, if they're so no, so... they, it's the, the, all they do should do is cover Al Green songs and then it could be stone on bone. I don't get it. And you know. never will. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining Night. us. We'll Good see night. you next time. Night. See you.